And on to a follow-up, we're learning that UC Santa Barbara Anthropology undergraduate students helped in the search for the remains of Jack Canton, the team missing since the 2018 mudslide in Montecito. KSBY News supporter Alexa Bertola has new details. The group of UCSB students, as well as their professor, tell me that they began uncovering the remains of Jack Canton over Memorial Day. Now they also found artifacts from the Canton home. The January 9th, 2018 mudslide took the lives of 23 people. In the weeks, months and years that followed, there were countless searches to find two-year-old Lydia Suda Tepa and 17-year-old John Jack Canton. An estimated 4 million bucket loads of mud and debris were moved to no avail. I mean, we're looking for tiny things in dirt that are the same color as dirt. A group of UCSB anthropology undergrad research assistants with assistant professor Dr. Danielle Curran helped with the search after being contacted by Jack's mom, Kim. It was like a needle in the haystack situation. It was um, at the site. You just look at what you're faced with. They spent hours and hours volunteering out in the field, targeting hot zones within the 100 plus acre search area and researching in the lab. It's been a great feeling, something I never really thought that I would do. Along the way, they found artifacts and in May started finding the remains of Jack. It is gratifying to be able to see the progress and be able to give closure. Kim told us, she said, if this had happened and my son had survived, he would have been out there digging with you guys. Forensic field assistant Gabriella Campbell was there for the discoveries and also when they told Kim and handed her the remains. That's something I'll never forget. It was just you could feel her relief and you could feel her that closure that she needed. The students tell me that Jack's mom was their motivator when they seemed to be losing hope. They also say they're honored to use their educations to help bring the Canton family closure. It was an incredible payoff because now Jack could be laid to rest. The location of where the remains were found are being kept confidential. Now the students will take part in the burial when Jack is laid to rest next to his father, Dave, who was also killed in the mudslide. In Montecito, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. The remains of two-year-old Lydia have not been found. They say there is a less than 5% chance they will find her remains since the bones of a child are not fully formed. They are softer and decompose faster than an adolescent or an adult. 